Well, hi, everybody. Stu, AG6AG. Um, this last Saturday on April 22nd, 2022, uh, the Ventura County Amateur Radio Society out here in Ventura County sponsored a countywide HT or Handy Talkie Evaluation Day for uh, anyone that wanted to come and bring one, two, three, four HTs and get them evaluated for FCC compliance and, you know, check a couple other things about them uh, to get more knowledgeable about their equipment. Anyway, um, these are some videos that were shot there. Uh, we were lucky enough to have one of our amateur radio operators allow us to go ahead and uh, shoot his test so uh, he could share some thoughts and be able to uh, contribute to the education of other amateur radio operators. So anyway, let's go ahead and get, oh, doggone it. Hey, I got to remind you, if you could, please subscribe to my channel if you like it. Uh, and if you like any of the videos, click on like for me on that video. Uh, subscribing really gets me in front of more viewers to allow them to learn more about our hobby and how much fun it really is. So with that, hey, let's get on with the show. All right, so we're getting ready to do this today. Rick, tell us a little bit about the uh, signal monitor that you have here. Well, it's a service monitor, is what the normal name is, and uh, what we're checking today is uh, the uh, sensitivity of a radio, and sensitivity is typically uh, uh, specified as uh, what is the level of signal going in that gives you 12 dB of synad. I won't go into the details, but right now, what we have on this Malfang radio is uh, 0.13 microvolts, which is good. Which it's is good. Anything under 0.2 is good, and lower is better because you'll right. uh, right. be able to receive a, a weak signal. Awesome. All right. All right. Well, great. And over here, we've got the big screen TV, and we're using the Signal Hound. Uh, this is the SA, um, let's try to get the shot, this is the uh, SA44B, and we're using this to check basically deviation um, and uh, harmonic uh, levels uh, to see if these HTs are in compliance under FC the FCC rules for Part 97. Hey everybody, I just wanted to break in real quick and uh, talk a little bit about the tests and the radios, okay? Uh, some things that uh, you probably want to know. Um, if I tested, let's say, a Yesu FT60 from one amateur and got the same uh, radio making model from another amateur and tested it and compared the results, they were almost identical across the board, regardless of manufacturer, make, model didn't matter. If they were the same make and model, guess what? The results were just about the same. Um, the only radios that we consistently had problems with uh, as far as compliance levels were uh, dual bands and tri bands that included 2 meters and 220. Uh, those are the only ones that were just really had some problems. Uh, let's see. Um, the Chinese radios uh, tended to be closer to the edge of tolerance on uh, the compliance. Um, of all the Japanese radios we tested, we did not have a single Japanese radio that blatantly failed or was even close to the levels of compliance to be questionable. Uh, and that's all I got for you on that. Let's keep going. All right, so the let's go ahead. Which one do you want to start with? Right. Let's start with the dual band. All right, good enough. So we're going to need an adapter here. All right, thank you. Okay, All right, so male, female. Yeah, there you go. Got her. All right. Yeah, you don't even need the storage. So, so it's right on the converter. Marty set up. All right, so yeah, 146.000 and uh, no PL. 
correct. No offset. And no offset. Okay, you'll be able to see your radio so behind us. Just those four panels. So go ahead and key up. Hold it down. Uh, my, my two three hundred watt panels. So right I have now. a secure connection. Okay, go ahead. All right. Will you look at that? There you go. Okay, so let me go ahead and we're going to peak search, so there we are at 37 dB, so because we're a little high, but not bad. Well, a little high means a little, little hot? Extra power? Extra power! Woohoo! More power! <laughs> all right, well, let's get down to the nitty gritty of what we all want to see. Let's take a look at our harmonics here. So go ahead and key and hold the key down. I'll tell you when to let it up. I'm going to let it do a few passes here. No, I'm doing the, uh, uh, so hope it stabilizes well, past that. And uh, let me oh, just okay. keep it keyed. I'm, I'm come off of yet. Alright, go ahead and come off. Come off. Yeah. Yeah. Come off. All by myself. You're good. When I went out You're there last night. <laughs> yeah. Um, you see that second harmonic? I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And actually, the third one's too high, too. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just I'm looking. We're going from number one is at what? Uh, That's a native frequency, so. Yeah, no, I know, but. 37 points. Yeah, yeah, 37 I'm not sure where to read. Yeah, yeah 37 dBm. Okay. okay. And then if you look at the, uh, the next harmonic, it's, it's, it's 37 and 20. Yeah, so. Okay, so it's down 17. I'm more tired than I was. Yeah, yeah. Not all that great. No. And actually, we've got. But that's. That's fortunate no because I don't care about 292 megahertz. I've been playing around with <laughs> it. <laughs> well, <laughs> so here's all the information on the formulas and everything else. All right, so let's go ahead. We can check that. Now, this is a tri band? It is, so I've got 220. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch to 220 because this is absolutely characteristic of a 220. But before I do that, a little bit more than and are you going to check the deviation? Yeah, we'll check the deviation. I was going to do the 220 next on this. That's fine. Right. Now we can take yeah. a look at the deviation. Now the way that we're checking the deviation is we're basically just getting a screen up that shows the deviation. We're letting you talk into it so you can figure out where the hell to hold it. That's that's the concept here. We'll see how that works. Shall I unkey? Oh yes, why not? Here, let me see if you get warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let me go ahead and I'll change the free. Go ahead and let's go to 223.5. Got it. How hot is 5 watts? I think all the that box costing about 4. It's still 5 watts. Think, think of a 5 watt light bulb. Yeah, but like temperature, how quickly can it heat up something like this? Well, it depends on the size of the resistors. To put it all together, so break open the All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start this. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so you're a little lower on power, but we would expect that, okay? You can do the quick math on this, so basically if we took 34 and added 16 to it, okay, 16, so if you look here, the irony is that it needs, and it needs to be below 025 microwatts, okay, on your, so, yeah, you got to read this oh, thing. I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm reading, reading the top line, right. I'm going to try not to see where you are. Right. So, so yeah, what that would mean is I can, mathematically, the although there's a formula yeah, to so figure out the exact number, uh, you get pretty close by just adding what your DBM is and... The 16 and considering that the DBC. So it's amazing how math works, isn't it? <laughs> so basically, we're probably looking at about 50 DBC to be legal. You're missing it on a couple levels up here. Not surprised. Yeah. And would you print that one for me? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no, I'll read it. I was, wasn't even trying to think about it ahead of time. Yeah, so. no, absolutely. No problem. <laughs> you guys are doing it, so I didn't have to. Yeah, there you go. You don't have to worry about it. So, all right, we're going to go back to 146.000, and I am going to uh, switch over to uh, the uh, demodulation here. So this is a 40 dB tap, I take it. Yeah, uh, 40 dB uh, attenuator so, so where I'm at 5, this is 40 dB 
down going to your right, going uh, to spectrum the analyzer. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm so I'm basically it's coming nominally in straight through, through into this. Uh, yes, WH. absolutely. So you're going directly oh, into uh, WH. So and this and this is a, a VHF UHF uh, WH. Yes. Cool. All right. So there those are. Okay. All right. So, what you're seeing on the screen above you there is, of course, uh, the FM domain area right here. Just key it one time, hold it, and you can see that there you are. Now, you can see the deviation on either side. You want to get up there uh, in the four, four to five range, so go ahead and talk. Hello, test. One, two, three. Here's K6WKW testing. Pretty hot. Yeah, a little hot. Mm -hmm. you, know, you back off maybe a hair. See if that's any better. Well, you know, if I'm talking to Zach, then I, I have to talk loud. <laughs> well, and that's, you know, it's. It goes a little hot, but even yeah. when I drive it, it's not going all that far. But yeah. it does look well, it looks more okay. Than plus it looks minus okay. five. Yeah, so. it looks okay. I mean, so I'm not too concerned about that. that the the funny part is that, uh, you know, uh, it's funny you should say that because I. <laughs> I'm rather boisterous. <laughs> I've been told. No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> you say <laughs> bull in the china. <laughs> God, they can hear it over there. See? Hear it in the next county. All right. So let's go ahead and move to the next uh, next unit here. All right. So it becomes right. a mono band. Exactly. <laughs> all right. So we're all set to go. Go ahead and keep. Oh, you look at that. Let me get a peek on this. So there you are. Yeah. One, four, five, nine, 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 nine. So that's pretty good. And you're at about 30, 36 and a half. So that's good. You're right at five watts. Go ahead and drop. All right. Let's go ahead and let's uh, get into the fat part here. Okay. You're on your harmonic, so key that baby. You can't help that. Hold it down. Let's get some real reading. Yeah, you can't help that. Well, like my goodness, goodness. You know? I'm Wednesday, gonna, uh, I might be able to make I'm going to say yeah, with uh, uh, a little confidence here that that looks pretty good. You can unkey it. Yeah. So the so the worst you got was at 440 at 52, but that's that really is close enough. I mean, you're there. Yeah. You know. So try try band. I don't know. You know if there's any circuitry differences really. Well, or if it's just the firmware. But no. This this seems to indicate that there's a hardware difference. Yeah. So. What most people think when they think about that is that, you know, they may not have a filter that switches in and out for 220 because it's the 220 harmonic that is through the roof. So maybe, just because it also runs 220, they didn't filter it quite as well. well and, and of course, I'm supposed to change the antenna. Okay, this antenna theoretically is non resonant. So when you add some SWR, yeah. Then the 220 yeah. signal may drop even further. So That's we, true. If we were doing yeah, over you the know, air, and I would, I would well, bet you that we could probably figure out a way to excuse the entire thing away if we really tried. I'm <laughs> working on it. <laughs> All right, so we're at our deviation test, and you know how to do this. Hello, test one, two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is K6 WKW being run over by a, a table? All right, that there we go. Bad at all to me. That looks great. That looks perfect. So that Audio sir, on this was yeah. low. We had to go in and we had to turn the little pot. Uh, Boy, yeah. I'll tell you, I was not comfortable. It's been so long since I've taken radios apart. Now they're all small. I remember when radios used to have human sized consoles. Right. <laughs> all right, so would you like to do the uh, receive sensitivity test over here with Rick? Sure, no problem. Other side. All right. Okay. And the cyanide test? Is that yeah. It? Mm -hmm. I haven't worked with that. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a got whole meter. We're going to search. I used to live right across from the ramps. Yeah, we used to take a ramp. So we used to take a ramp. So we used to take a ramp. So we used to take a so have you on there Sunday morning? Oh, because of the nature of random noise. Precisely. Yeah. Yeah. What we got is 0.145 microvolts, I mean, <coughs> which is good. Um, anything below about 0.2 microvolts is, is a good sensitive receiver. Cool. Of course, I keep the smoke up at 9, so. Well.
You notice that we're not showing any radio makes and models in this, and uh, there'll be additional videos that we come out with that may center on particular radios, uh, but uh, the information was given to the owners of the radios, and they're aware of their compliance. So uh, with that, uh, I think I'm just going to say, uh, stay tuned. Maybe we'll get a little bit more in-depth on that. Anyway, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. We had a great time at this event. It was so much fun. Uh, and uh, great participation from uh, folks around the county here. So in my opinion, the event was a real winner for us. Um, but with that, hey, 70, oh, <clears throat> if you like the video, do me a favor and click like. And if you're not subscribed, of course, subscribe. You'll get notifications when I come out with new stuff. So anyway, with that, this is Stu, AG6AG, seeing 73. Hope to hear you on the air.